Donnie. <laughs> oh, I need to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. Nope, I'm not gonna go through this bullshit. We're gonna go fight that thing again. Okay, load the game. <laughs> okay. Is an idiot walking through water. I'm just killing himself. It's our third harpy fight. <laughs> So yeah, got a box from Amazon, box of bottles, and a couple uh, games for the Switch. Apparently it was moving inside, so. 
They put a box in a box, and then two games on top of that box, and then you know, when you moved it, it's like da 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 da. Like, oh no, it's moving. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Artillery on top. This Are they performing the concentration check? Not what I wanted you to do. Stop skipping my own proper turns.
what you are. I think this guy can make the jump.
Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. I pretty much have everything. Maybe it's actually time for me. If they make it, they're slow, vulnerable. What good would it do for me to be troubled? We can't save them all. Is there anything on the map that we don't know? Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Very... 
I don't expect a fight here. What's on your mind? Did you want to talk? That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. Comes with the territory. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, oh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. <laughs> there was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for us. Well, look who's come to visit. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Metal fork. <laughs> Bones, I'll take his gold. Anything else? I do, as a matter of the bastards that killed Arabella. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. Yeah, well. Figures. Anything else? You've been a friend to us. You came! I have. So I wrote you a story. It's about you. Here we go. Great talent or not, 
No druid can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Give no credence to such fantasy. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. To all questions, the Kalir Library harbors answers. A gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Yeah. Chat Definitely the first mod is going to allow us to have all six of them. <laughs> it's like, uh. We find this Zoru in the Red Hunter's camp. He will point us to a crash. There we may be purified. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. It was an observation. Not a compliment. No matter. <laughs> I do not intend to stay long in this place. What do you need now? And clearly the tadpole. If we can't understand it, we'll never control it. Something the matter? Fine. What's on your mind? Find a healer. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, you'll do. And what's there to think about? Just a group of desperate people at each other's throats. Hardly a unique occurrence these days. Besides, the one person who might be able to help us isn't even in the grove. We should look for Halsin, not waste time poking about his abode. Ah, there you are. How did you enjoy my dear stew this evening? It's old family recipe. Good. I tend to season it with spices from Karatur, but given what's available to us, good old Rosemary had to see us through. Not that I mean to regale you with my culinary exploits. There's, uh, well, there's actually something quite different I'd like to discuss. We've been traveling together for a while now, and during those travels, I've been observing you. I want you to know that I like what I see. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way we got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. Now I need you to place your trust in me. Our journey together is bound to last a while still. As such, I feel compelled to speak. I say this because there's something I desperately need. But while I'll tell you what that something is, I won't tell you why. I have to ask you to agree to this before carrying on this conversation. Thank you. I see I did well to trust you. Now, 
to the matter at hand. You see, I have a condition. A condition different from the tadpole, but just as deadly. The only way to appease said condition is for me to take powerful magical artifacts and absorb the weave inside. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact before we were abducted. It is time. And by that, I mean it's imperative that I find and consume powerful strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. We've already done the finding. The idol of Sylvanus is such an artifact. Whoa. <laughs> and it might well be. It's a holy relic after all, and taking it would enrage the druids to no end. Not that I'd say no. But we're bound to come across more artifacts during our travels. As luck would have it, Faerun is full of them, though I do feel obliged to point out that items of power tend to be in the hands of the powerful. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. <laughs> Wild gate. Gotcha. That sure. Good. A bit of boldness will serve us well. Not that I know the allure these artifacts hold. I understand their value and their power. All this to say, I understand the sacrifice I ask of you. I hope I can count on you. Yeah, it seems good. Now, what do we want to keep? Don't care, don't care, don't care. That's just for sale, I guess. Thank you. 
That's good. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. Lash out with the elbow. Oh, 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 you. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Really? I... <laughs> of course. Not one drop more. He holds you carefully, delicately, until he strikes. It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Hmm? Oof. Oh, of course. <sighs> that... That was... amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... happy. shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. 
they've changed the rules. Some of the rules, at least. Running water still burns like acid, and I don't know if I need an invitation to enter a house. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Pocket and skeleton? Ah, another. Oh. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, oh, I wait. will cleave soul to body once more. <clears throat> because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. Indeed, farewell. I did not expect him to be here. Technically. Why? <laughs> I just know the party coming with me. What do you need now? What's on your mind? Something the matter?
Technically so. Right now that is not where we want to go. Got the other side of the bridge to explore. <laughs> Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvanus be with you. What happened to the circle we had on her previously? Game 
game updated itself and re of it. Someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian. A sweetheart, perhaps? No sweethearts, no. I prefer them in savory. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to strike up conversation. person mode. Alright, we were trying to see if we could sneak around. You seemed quite forward with your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. You don't pull a muscle in your haste. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Adam. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. Oh my god, yeah. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Oh, we got a dog at our camp. Fishing got killed. Are we from the next level?
looks like we're up against goblins. That is going to be next time. As I am. <sighs> going to take a break. Seven hours of this game. First break. That's the team, right? Because this would be hour nine, technically, I guess, but you know. <laughs>